Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and I am doing some more news for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, we are on Call of Duty Wiki, uh, Call of Duty that wiki .com slash wiki slash Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So we're looking at all the weapons confirmed to be in Advanced Warfare. So we're starting off with Assault Rifles because that's what's on the list right here. Putting on my headphones properly. Anyway, so the first Assault Rifle list in here is the IMR. Let's click the button. Um, so the IMR uh, sounds cool. Oh, okay. So it, it the IMR, the integrated munitions rifle. So this is a 3D printing rifle. It's a, making an appearance in the upcoming Call of Duty Advanced Warfare weapon will be able to print 3D technology, print bullets with 3D technology, uh, effectively reducing reload times. And first seen in the induction gameplay reveal at E3. Apparently. From what has been announced from Game Informer, Sledgehammer is tapping into the relevant modern 3D printing. Uh, not going to read all that. That's a long thing. But that is really cool. Some of the images they show here of the gun looks really cool. I've seen it a lot. So moving on to the BAL-27. So I'm going to stuff The BAL-27 is a bullpup assault rifle. It's bullpup. Okay, it'll appear in the next Call of Duty. Uh, there is no other wet info on that, but there's a, there are a lot of pictures. Um, it looks cool. It looks cool. It, it's that it's that gun like a lot of people are using. So it looks like it's going to be the uh, one of the main uh, assault rifles. Uh, the next gun here is the HBR A3, which is also another used one. Um, no, a oh, magazine size 30 rounds, starting ammunition 30 plus 90. Um, that's all the information I got from that. That is great. Thank you very much. I'm uh, moving on to the AK-12 is returning. The AK-12, uh, coming back. Uh, not Call of Duty Ghost. Skipping Call of Duty Ghost. There's Advanced Warfare here somewhere. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. AK-12 is recurring as the AK-12G. Trivia 12 is written on the, on the rear in blue. Okay. It, it, there's nothing really here to tell for it to tell me nothing cool nothing not no information there because you already know the AK-12 and no new information about it we are using the ARX 160 next uh, appears in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Maz Ma Ma Bill I don't even know I don't even know Mobilza I don't even know what it was a game Anyway, Air 160 Ghosts. I don't care. I have Air 160 Go in Advanced Warfare. The front iron sight is not aligned with the rear iron sight. The sight are shifted one to the left, opposed to being centered. Okay. On the ground, the rifle appears to be fitted with a 20 round magazine. In first person, it is correctly fitted with the standard 30 round magazine. Air X 160. In third person lacks the iron sights okay anyway so that that that's uh, good to know there's I have there's not a lot of information we're getting here about these ones uh, the ABR a3 see the new guns what I gotta look at I'm only gonna look at the new guns from now on no more uh, it's is there any images on this gun no dumb ads Anyway, but yeah, there's no images or anything on what this looks like, but it's apparently in the uh, multiplayer trailer. Uh, moving on to heavy weapons, the EM-1 Quantum, which is the laser gun, or one of the laser guns. This thing looks cool. I'm probably going to use this a lot. Most likely going to do a uh, a uh, live commentary with it. Um, it'll be in the next Call of Duty. Uh, it is a dem. I'm going to call it a dem because that's really what it is. Directed Energy Guns was a deg. Directed energy missile is a dem. Uh, that is really cool. And in the advanced arsenal, it's gonna be bronzed out. So that's cool. Um, moving on back here. The next one is the XMG, which is a big ass LMG. I'm pretty sure. It's the fully automatic machine guns. Kimbo only. Oh, it's that dual wielding minigun. Thing that you can run around with and, go and awesome it's a heavy weapon in front of beer and I actually saw it in what I actually saw some gameplay of it so that was really cool uh, moving on to the next one which is the EPM3 
Which I don't know what this is. EPM3 is a heavy weapon. Uh, it was in the multiplayer reveal for Gamescom. I haven't seen this. There's no pictures of it, so thanks for the help. Uh, next, we're looking at the machine guns. The, cert the first one is the SAC3, or the SAC. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first here is a... Still no information on these. Come on. There's nothing. Okay, KF5. Rapid fire, red dot sight, or grip. Uh, there's attachments that are there. A magazine. It's a 40 round magazine and has. It starts out with 180 ammo, including in, that's in the clip. Uh, next one is ASM three. ASM one. I mean ASM one. Um, it look it, dude. It looks like a Thompson. That's awesome. Magazine size 45 rounds. Starting ammunition 45 plus 35. 135. Uh, that's cool. Oh, there's like, oh, sorry for my stuffy nose. Yeah, it looks like a, th it looks like a Thompson and, uh, it, it looks like, it looks like a AK, an AK-74U with a drum round. Um, this one is the SN6 and there's a, the only picture we got of him is some guy throwing, getting fall, thrown out the window with holding it. Oh, it's that one that was in the first ever scene of, uh, multiplayer with the, with the, uh, where they, where they go, saw the guy shooting that that's that's what it is so there's two shotguns here we got uh, two shot the tac 19 here tac 19 we've all seen this because that was in the uh, reveal trailer for it there's eight rounds in, in the in the magazine and starting ammunition is uh, eight plus 24 that's cool this shotgun looks really cool just to be honest it does look really cool I'm uh, moving into the s12 the S12? Ah, oh, shit. I don't... Uh, it, it's coming back. It's, that's all. Oh! It got... Nose. Uh, sorry. Okay, next we're moving to Sniper Rivals with the Moors. M-O-R-S. Which is the one, the, full, the uh, bolt action one we saw that has the... You have to load the bullet. That's really cool. Magazine size one. Fire mode single shot. Or bolt action, actually. That's cool. Um... Attachments today, cargo scope, and actually there's an iron sight attachment too. Next is the Lynx. The Lynx is coming back from Ghosts. Uh, there's a button here I can click for advanced warfare. Okay. I did the wrong th I did something. <laughs> Whoops. Screwing with the sight. Screwing with the sight. Not meaning to do that. Uh, it doesn't show what it looks like, but... Uh, confirmed to appear in the upcoming game. Thanks. Uh, not ghosts. Uh, why did I click on ghosts? Advanced warfare. There we go. So, moving on to the pistols, we got the Atlas 45. The Atlas 45 is cool. Uh, it comes the Atlas Limited and Pro Edition. Unusual. It's an unusual pistol. The Atlas appears to be featured with a large trigger. Guard, the guard dense enough to use as a grip. That's cool. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next one. The MP443 Gratch coming back from Ghosts. I'm also going to scroll down again. A lot. Okay, it doesn't give us anything but one. It's just confirmed to show up. It's confirmed to be there. Okay, next is the PDW. Uh, also, just gotta scroll down again. Confirm to show up, and it for sure gonna have attachments. It has, an, it has a 32 round magazine. I keep. Okay, uh. The RW1. Is a confirmed weapon to appear in the upcoming Call of Duty. It was appeared in the multiplayer reveal. I'm assuming. Assuming. Remember that that it is the uh, what call it the uh, revolver one that's a one shot so it's you gotta shoot and then you unload and you reload it's it's a fast reload but you have to redo that because it's a one shot kill so that's cool um, got the launchers here actually yeah the launchers the stinger M7 and the Moz. Uh those are all in other games so I'm gonna skip them the heavy shield which is the riot shield. A heavy shield special weapon. Okay. 
Uh, moving on to unknown weapons, we have the AMR9. Looks like the Vector. Looks like the Vector. Gonna be an SMG. Gonna be an SMG. Uh, the UTS-19. No picture of it. Uh, nothing. Uh, give me this. The MP-11. Gonna be a pistol or, or a uh, SMG. Got the crossbow going on here. Probably gonna be it within launchers. Probably. Um... No, I, I got, I got no, uh, truth on that one, but, Call of Duty Online, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, then we gotta go all the way to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Weapons. There we go. Combat Knife, a melee, that's obviously gonna be heavy weapons, and the MDL. The MDL. Looks like an assault rifle, or a grenade launcher. Yeah, it's a grenade launcher, it's gonna be launchers. Six grenades and double action semi-automatic. Okay, that's the last of that. We got lots of attachments here. I'm just gonna look for what's there's an autofocus sight, a dual mag, which is normal for grip, old for uh, that old, old, lightweight grip, lightweight stock, portabolic microphone, parabolic microphone, red dot sight suppressor, target enhancer, thermal tracker. Bearable red dot sight. See, I, I knew that was, I saw that. Advanced rifling, which is a barrel thing, which is more like, which is like a uh, extended barrel. Uh, akimbo, tac, knife, ballistic, be your rapid fire scope, and hybrid sight. So this is all, this, this is, looks kind of new, uh, normal. Stun grenade, explosive drone. So this is the exo launchers we're looking at here. The explosive drone. Uh, what else we got? Tracking drone. Semtex, threat detection grenade, EMP grenade, smoke grenade, variable grenade, and spike drone. The spike drone is kind of like a throne knife. Uh, moving on to exo abilities, we've got exo stim, exo overclock, exo shield, boost dash, boost dodge, boost jump, boost slam, boost slide, exo cloak, exo hover, exo ping, exo launcher, exo overcharge, and exo trophy system so this sounds cool and then there's miscellaneous is a mobile barricade exoskeleton itself the nano gloves which are the magnet gloves knife uplink drone and car door i don't know if that will be available in multiplayer that'd be cool anyway hope you guys all enjoy this is a really long video I'll probably split it right in two so i uh so you can see both or i mean no it, it's it's not too long i'll upload both anyway guys hope you all enjoyed if you like and share the videos up the channel out actually come back in the next video and I'll be looking over more advanced warfare news. So anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.